Hi, Ken from Tanning Bed Repair Guide. Very important to know about three-phase power in the U.S. and tanning beds is what kind of power do you have? Because you could break the equipment, as in fry something, if you're not aware of this. Now, let's take the most common one here over here this is called the Y connection and the Y connection has that name because the way that the um, transformers are connected looks like a Y and it's easy to deal with because between each face and to your neutral wire you have 120 volts that you can use for regular power and that makes it very easy to distribute in your uh, service. Now, the thing is that most of the big tanning bits um, takes 230, 235, all the way up to 240 volts, which they typically run well on. But this power only gives you 208 volts, as you can see, between each phase. And what that does is that you got to have a buck boost transformer then to boost it up to 230 235 volts so you do have that thing uh, but all of your regular things inside the salon is, uh, is 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 perfect for this you know it has 120 volts so this is the most common Take a look over here. but um you have the split delta connection. This one does occur quite a bit. And what gives it away is that you measure 240 volts between the faces. And that tells you that you should watch out for what here is called the wild leg, um, but it can also be known as the stinger leg. And because you have pulled out a connecting point in the middle of a uh, on the transform of, on one of the coils does that you have a potential of 208 volts to neutral now on that particular phase and so what that means is that when you have the American tanning beds which sometimes will be 120 volts on the um, on, on the control voltage you need to be absolutely certain that you're not connecting this part of the tanning bed to this wild leg because that will fry this control system if you have a European tanning bed however like a UWE, an Herbaline, KBL um, then you don't have a problem. Those are running 230, 30, 35, even 240 regularly, even the control system. So, so if you have this service, it's actually great. You don't need boosters when you have a European tanning bed. But with an American tanning bed, you need to be very, uh, very aware of if you have a stinger leg in there and if you're measuring 240 volts find that voltage tester put one lead on neutral and then test each of your faces and see if you have 208 on one of them and you make to need to make sure that when you connect it to that tanning bed like a sun dash or something like that that you make sure that where all of the uh, faces L one two three is is going to inside the tanning bed so that you can identify the one leg if it's L one or L two or L three that's going to the control system so you can keep that white leg away from there. Ken from Tanning Bed Repair Guide with a little heads up on the power. Take care, guys. Bye.